As you guys requested, I tried out Artist Republic to see if any other promotional tools were worth investing in. So today I'm gonna to be sharing my thoughts and experiences. Today's video is also sponsored by DishoKid, but we'll talk more about them later. For now, on to the video. Yo guys, what is going on? Time Max VI, AK 2017. I only spent a measly $45 on this website, but I'm gonna explain why I didn't spend any more. I'm gonna talk about what I did invest in and how there's alternatives that are just ultimately better than this site. First of all, there's a lot of UI problems which just make the website look a little bit unfinished and just kind of beta stage sketchy. For example, under the production tab, they have a thing called Elite Reviews, which was actually like a full active page when I bought the services. There's absolutely nothing here, but I thought it was super cool. It was like high level people people in the industry you could kind of pay to get a review from or just get them to listen to your song, whatever. But now all of a sudden there's no data to be found here, but yet I can still list myself as a reviewer. Little bit strange. Under the social tab, there's a page called Top 100 Trending Tracks, which, what does that mean? Top 100 in the world, Top 100 in the US, Top 100 on the website. How are we supposed to know? It doesn't have any description, nor does it have any songs here, so I'm a little confused. They also have some sort of networking page under the social tab, which is completely dysfunctional. And so I don't really understand how these pages just get approved to be on the site. Because if they're incomplete and they're coming soon or they're not ready to go, why are they just taking up space on the website and just looking like a mess? I don't know, those are just a few things right off the bat, but let's get into the juicy stuff. First of all, after you sign up and log in, you come to their dashboard, which looks like this. It's essentially just the exact same thing as the navigation, but put into big sections on one page. So it's just kind of a useless dashboard. There's nothing really personalized about it. The only thing personal to you is these four things at the top here. You got a rep score, tracks, sales, and friends. Tracks and sales are only if you use their distribution service, which I've heard that they're actually getting rid of that. So I find it kind of strange that you can still go on the distribution page and pay for their services. If they know full well they're cutting the services, why are you still able to pay to use them? I don't understand. But of course, we're not here to talk about the distribution, so I'll leave that to somebody else. Then we have this thing that says friends. Apparently I have three friends on this site, but the weird thing is I can't click on this and I can't see who my so-called friends are. I never added anybody. All of a sudden this just went from zero to three. So I don't get it. It makes no sense. And then they have this thing called the rep score which I didn't know what this was, so I went to their help center tab and I looked up rep score. Now you can go ahead and read this whole thing if you want, but the bottom paragraph is just the most concerning and I think the most important part about this rep score thing. It says, the score's goal is to give artists like you a number to quantify your reputation in the industry. The more active you are on our platform, the more your music will be promoted and you will be on a path to success. But hey man, might I interject saying, <laughs> the real path to success, being on all major streams. Seriously, if you don't have your music on all major streaming platforms yet, check out DistroKid for literally as low as $20 a year. That's quite literally an Uber Eats order, okay? 20 bucks a year can get your music on Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, whatever, all the big guys. They got a ton of cool features for promoting your music as well. You can get an official artist channel on YouTube like I have simply by being a DistroKid member. You can become a Twitch affiliate. You can collect Spotify pre-saves and followers by using their hyperfollow link. And they have a feature called splits where it's super easy to split all the royalties between every that was a part of a project. So if you want to get started because you got an extra 20 bucks laying around, use my VIP link at the top of the description. It'll also save you money on their super low prices. And it'll say, hey, Nolan sent you here and I would really appreciate it. It does support me in this channel. I don't know, man, just some food for thought. But that being said, let's get back to the video. Now on the website, I went from zero to 72 after whatever I paid for. There's no way of clicking on this thing either or seeing how this is quantified. How much weight does this rep score hold on the website? Because any type of submission that you make on this website, you have to pay for every single time you wanna submit to somebody. So essentially, the more you pay for stuff, the higher your rep score goes and the more likely you will be promoted. Like what does this really mean? Because there's no way of really understanding how this is quantified. Then we go under the marketing tab. The first page is called Marketing Hub. It's quite literally just a copy paste of the dashboard. So again, another completely useless page. Then we have the grow with us tab. Under here, you can start a new campaign to get more Spotify followers, more SoundCloud followers, more SoundCloud streams, or more SoundCloud engagement. Now I don't really know what engagement means in this case because anything on a person's profile is engagement. So that seemed a little bit sketchy and if you haven't already seen the video where I talk about social proofing, I'm gonna put it in the top right corner here. You really gotta know about what it is and so you don't get trapped. And SoundCloud is one of the easiest websites to do this social proofing on. So instead I went with the Spotify follower growth because it's significantly harder to fake those followers. So if you click on create campaign, you can do one time or a subscription. So I just went with one time. I put in a custom amount of $15. Then you just name the campaign, choose the type out of these four options that I just talked about. And the thing 
thing that actually sold me here was this bid amount that you can change. Now, if you know anything about Facebook or Google ads, it's that you have a target bid amount that you're willing to spend in order to get conversions. I'm not gonna break down exactly how that works, but essentially this number is tied into real organic marketing through Facebook or Google ads. So I found it interesting that you can actually change this. So that kind of led me to believe that they would be promoting me through some sort of advertising platform. Now you can see I have a campaign running here. I called it make the bed, but it's not actually promoting a song. It's simply just promoting my Spotify profile. My bid number is just the default it was set to. I had a budget of $15 and it says that I've gained a total of 14 followers from this campaign. Now I paid for this campaign on the 8th of October. It says it can take anywhere between 24 and 48 hours for your campaign to start, which it actually did. It didn't show me any change until 48 hours went by. Then on the 11th, it showed that I actually had gained eight followers from the campaign. And on the 12th, it showed me that it gained 13 followers. Since then, all the way to today, which is the 18th, apparently I've only gained one follower because it's now saying that I have a total of 14. Now I'm gonna throw up screenshots of my before and after follower count on Spotify. I took the before screenshot on the 8th right when I bought it, and I took the after screenshot just a few minutes ago before I started filming this video. So apparently I've gained a total of 22 followers, 14 of those coming from this campaign, which is kind of strange because I haven't run any sort of other campaigns to get followers on my Spotify. I don't have any sort of pre-save links going on, so I'm not really sure how I'm getting these followers. Usually my follower growth is significantly slower than this. So I'm gonna say that all 22 were probably from this campaign, but at the same time as it's only telling me 14, and I'm kind of confused because I don't really know how it's quantified this number. I don't know how they would know if 14 of the followers came from this campaign or not. Maybe they're just throwing in a random number and then botting my followers somehow to just keep it above that. I'm, I'm not sure at all because I don't remember connecting my Spotify to my account. And even if I did, you would have to give them special access through an email in order for them to check out your stats. So it doesn't really work. I don't know how they would know this. And the thing is, it just says active. How am I supposed to know when this campaign ends? There's no way to pause it or resume it. You can't get a refund or just like end the campaign as a whole and get some of the money back. So it's very strange and I just don't really like this. It just kind of seems a little bit too fishy. Then we move on to the playlisting tab, which is the one that a lot of people were kind of like hyping up. When you go to submit, you just put your track name, the track link, and then the genre that it's in. You push continue. And then it just lists you a ton of playlists that you could submit to. Now, most of them are between like one and $3, but some of them like this one go as high as $20 for a submission, which is just outrageous, like absolutely insane. Nobody do not spend $20 on a submission. Please do not. I think the highest amount I spent was like $8 for one submission. Then after that, it was just a bunch of like $1 and $2 submissions. I got it all the way up to $30. So I spent 30 bucks on playlist submissions. And the most annoying part is after they took my money, they don't tell you anything. On the website, it doesn't update and show you which playlist you sent to. You don't get any sort of word back from any of the playlist curators to see if you got approved or denied. I can't even tell you which playlist I submitted to because they don't show me. Like it, I have nothing in my email, nothing at all. Then they have another tab called blog promotion and then one called Instagram placement where they're basically the exact same system. So this playlist one, I don't trust. So I wouldn't trust these other ones either. Now the Instagram placement one seems like kind of a cool idea, but I really don't see enough value in it for how much it costs. But anybody could list their profile and if they have a ton of artificial followers, they could still rack the price up and just get all the suckers who don't even look into their engagement or anything and just willfully spend all their money on this. And if you haven't already heard of Submit Hub, it's a website where you can submit to influencers completely for free. Every four hours, you get a couple of free credits where you can send your submission for your song off to these influencers. I got approved for a lot of story placements just by sending off the free credits. And there's also premium credits that you can pay for if you want, and you also earn them from being active on the website, but you don't have to. So you can submit to these people completely for free over and over and over again, multiple times a day. So really, there seems to be no reason to use the Instagram placements thing on this website. While this is just my personal experience, some of you might've had better results from paying and submitting to things on this site. But overall, it just seems too much like it's in a beta stage and that it doesn't really have enough attention to detail. It doesn't feel completed really in any way. And I feel like more often than not, you're gonna lose money on this website and won't really get much of a return on your music. If any of the heads over at Artist Republic are watching this right now, I would be glad to give this another chance if you guys really spiff this site up and kind of just focused on the main things that really attract people like the playlisting or the Grow With Us campaign tab. But right now, it just doesn't seem like a good place to put your cash. If you learned something today, leave a like on the video. It really does help it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I stream every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, listening to my viewers' music completely for free. So if you want to come out, it's right here on this YouTube channel. Set a reminder in your phone, calendars, whatever. Make sure you comment down below any websites you want me to check out. That said, it's been your boy MMXVI, and I'm out. Peace.